this is uh, I'm Pastor Lance Smith. We're here just outside Monticello for the Hump Day Devotional, the Midweek Devotional. Uh, so glad that you're here with us. Uh, today we're, like I say, on a bridge just east of town. It's a wonderful place. It's a wonderful place to sit and listen for God to speak to you. I have a poem I'd like to share with you. It's by George Clements. And it's called, God is Speaking. Can you hear God speaking? He's talking to you now. If you don't know it, it's because you're not listening. Or you don't understand how. The whisper of the wind, the rustle of the breeze blown leaves, the patter of the rain. His voice is all of these. The smile of a stranger the sunshine in the morning. It's the twinkle of the stars above as another babe is born. The Lord's language is simplicity, not made of nouns or verbs. It's in the blooming of a rose. It's in the growing of herbs. His words are in this beauty, seen only by the wise. It's what we take the time to view and what we will recognize. Our Creator gave us everything. We need not ask for more. Give Him thanks for what we have. Give Him thanks for what's in store. It's interesting. I, I know sometimes I pray for God to, to give, clue me in to what's going on, God. What, what's the next step? What, what do you have planned for me? Why do you, why am I going this way? Why are things around me happening the way that they do? And I pray for that. And then I pray for him to speak to my friends and, and relatives and family and, and my church family and, and to tell them, to help discern to them what the right path is. Because there seems to be an awful lot of noise, especially nowadays there's an awful lot of noise. But we pray for people to listen and we pray, we pray for God to speak to us but then sometimes we forget to listen. Sometimes we are so busy running around that we don't hear the wind blowing, hear the crickets chirping, hear the locusts, hear, even hear the neighbor with the mower next door. Then maybe the words that are supposed to come to us, how are they going to come to us? They have to come to us through other people. In this time of COVID, we've realized what it's like to be in isolation. We've kind of realized what that's like, but weren't we already in isolation before? Running around like chickens with their heads cut off, not really having time for anything, except maybe your cell phone, except maybe a game or two, except maybe Facebook, all these things. But even in those, God might be speaking to us. We have to discern everything and think about the messages that God's giving us. When we read the Bible, when we talk with friends, when we meet with a stranger, all these are ways for God to speak to us, and we need to be listening. Sometimes I find myself uh, praying and then not listening to what I get. When God tries to answer me, then I, I think that's not the answer that I want. When God tells me one thing, I really don't want that answer. So sometimes I refuse it, much to my displeasure, much to my chagrin. Um, it's really hard in this time of political turmoil, too, to have conversations with people. Because what tends to happen is, instead of listening, people are talking and they're, they're so galvanized in their own in their own thoughts and ideas, that they don't listen to the other person. They listen just enough that they can formulate a rebuttal. It's like, you know, this person gives you a slam and you got to listen just enough so you can slam them back. But you're not really listening to what they're saying. You're not really understanding the emotions and the feelings behind what they're saying. Because there's a difference between listening and hearing. Hearing is something you do with your ears, but true listening is something you do with your heart. Let's pray. Oh, Holy One, we thank you for all the sounds and all the life that surrounds us. 
We thank you for your voice and your messages that come to us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Give us the wisdom to listen with our heart. Give us the wisdom to listen with the ears of Christ, to listen beyond just the words and think about what really is being said, what really is being expressed, what feelings, what fears, and what emotions are being said. Because that, Lord, is where you are. Only then are we truly listening. We ask this in Jesus' name.